Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Salads, Sandwiches, and Savories of 1905, we're going to be making the George Sandwich. First thing we need to do is stamp out rounds from thin slices of bread, butter them, then mayonnaise them. Probably would have been a homemade mayonnaise, but um, I had a day job, lots to do. Top with shredded chicken, shredded ham, and a sprinkling of chopped olives. Okay, let's give this George Sandwich a go. The butter and mayonnaise seemed a bit excessive, but this tastes pretty good. I mean, shredded chicken, ham, uh, a little bit of a brininess from the green olive, richness from the mayonnaise, and the butter. <laughs> um, I do want to plus it up a little, though. I'm going to add a little Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle flavor. Going to get dill pickle, get a little heat, a little savoriness. Oh, but I'm not done because I'm busting out some smoky blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give this George sandwich plussed up with Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle flavored hot sauce and smoky blue cheese. Go. Now the sandwich is even more George. Now the smoky blue cheese goes really well with the dill pickle hot sauce from Frank's. All of that goes really well with both the chicken and the ham. That is tasty. The original uh, was good. It uh, wasn't great. I'm going to give it about, I'll probably give it about a six. Plus up with the Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle flavored hot sauce and smoky blue cheese. I think that's a seven, and I think, you know, if we put a little tomato and lettuce in there, you're probably up to a seven and a half, eight. It is a tasty combination of flavors. I'm definitely going to finish that, and I would make this again. I just probably wouldn't butter the bread. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.